Hey guys, I feel like I'm going later and later with these coffee chats, but that's okay. So I'm gonna make my coffee. I typically stand over there and do that, but I just didn't feel like standing. So I'm just gonna sit down and do it. Um, and I wanted to talk to y'all about a lie that very, very common, especially among Christian moms. And that is the lie that comparison is the thief of joy. I've heard it misquoted so many times, as in taken out of context. Um, now here's the thing. Comparison, I guess, I guess that you accurately say that it is the thief of joy in the respect that it forces you to look at the fact that, or it forces you to get out of your comfort zone. Because if you're comparing yourself to someone doing more than you, then all of a sudden, the lie you've been telling yourself of this is just the best I can do it, isn't true anymore. So I want to tell you how I went from comparing myself to using other people to inspire me instead. So comparison can lead to two different things. It can either lead to inspiration or it can lead to jealousy. Jealousy slash bitterness. So drop me a one if you've ever looked at somebody else's life and compared yourself and you have felt bad about yourself afterwards. Drop me a one if you've ever done that. And then I want you to drop me a two if you've ever looked at somebody else's life and you've said, you know, if she can do X, Y, Z, why can't I? And you have fueled it to make yourself better and to make better choices. I can tell you, I have done both. So what I want to do, I'm just going to give you a couple little examples. And like I said, this is going to be a real short, one of our little coffee chats. I'm making a very light and very small little latte today in my daughter's mermaid. I'm a mermaid cup and I absolutely love it. It's one we got from Maine. Um, I can't see any comments. So when y'all hop on, say hi. I don't know what Facebook is doing, but anyways, so just a couple little examples I'm going to give you. Um, and I hear, again, I hear this lie so much that comparison is the thief of joy and they make it out like it's a bad thing. No, comparison is a thief of contentment. Comparison makes you get up off your butt and actually be productive. That's what comparison does. So for example, let's say you see somebody who has a great Facebook feed. You can either be inspired or you can be jealous. Jealousy says, well, I'm not as pretty as she is. I don't have as much money as she has. I don't have the right equipment that she does. Whatever, we can make every excuse in the book. And of course, if you don't make money off of Facebook, guys, you don't need to have a good Facebook feed. So for this particular example, I'm talking to those of us that make our money from Facebook. So inspiration would be, oh wow, her pictures are so sharp and clear. Maybe I should go look up a free YouTube video on how to take better pictures or edit better pictures. Inspiration would say, wow, her feed is so cohesive. Maybe I should look up again a free YouTube workshop on how to have a better news feed. Another just real short little example. Maybe you see another mom who is killing it. Like she is the team mom on the sports team and her house is always clean and she has dinner on the table and all the things. And I'm not talking about just on Facebook or just on Instagram, I'm talking about like in real life, she actually does this. So jealousy would say, well, I work full time, so I can't do that. Jealousy would say, well, she never spends any time on herself. Jealousy would find any excuse to put the fact that she's doing better than you away and come to the conclusion of, I am enough. Guys, you're not enough. Jesus is enough. Last I checked, you weren't up on that cross. You're not enough. None of us are enough. I am not enough. We are called to be like Jesus. Now for me, like Jesus is obviously perfect. So for me, having that automatic comparison is overwhelming because Jesus is here and I'm like, way, way underneath the table. So what's easier and what is more attainable 
is finding that mom who's doing better than me and letting that inspire me to get up to her level because that brings me closer to Jesus, to Jesus's level, I guess. Then finding that mom who's doing better than her, getting up to her that level. And I just keep on keeping on. I'm never going to be perfect, but I can inspire myself to do better. And my guys, by the way, your husband and your kids deserve that. They don't deserve the version of you that's enough, which is really just key for, I don't have to try to be any better because no one's going to make me feel bad about doing, you know, getting by. <laughs> so I challenge you to compare yourselves to somebody else and let it inspire you. Um, the last little example I want to give is in the business because I have fallen prey to this. I think we all have. You find that person who's doing, like, she joined the business later than you did. She's doing better than you. And instead of looking at her good traits and letting that inspire us, we say things like, oh, she had a bigger network than me. You know, I bet she never spends any time with her kids. She's on that phone 24-7. You know, she's prettier than me. She's skinnier than me, right? Like, we have all the excuses in our head. Um, instead of leveling up and acknowledging the fact, you know, maybe she works harder than I do. Maybe I should reach out and say, how, like, what kind of time management strategies do you implement? Because clearly you're doing it better than I am. Instead of letting that inspire us, we get all bitter and butthurt, get our little panties in a wad and talk about how, oh, well, I just can't do that. I'm just enough. No one can make me feel bad about myself. I'm enough. Y'all, you're not enough, okay? So, I'm a little red today, y'all. My personality is coming on strong because this is something I'm so passionate about. Do not get stuck in the rut of thinking that you're enough. You're not enough. Don't get stuck in the rut of thinking that comparison is the thief of joy. Comparison is not the thief of joy. That's a lie that some mom probably made up to make herself feel good about herself and the fact that her house is never clean and her kids are little hellions running around the restaurant, okay? Again, just being blunt. Comparison is the thief of contentment, meaning it'll make you get out of your dang comfort zone and be better. Y'all, we, we need to be better. We need to level up in every single area of our life. That is what we're called to do, not to sit and talk about how we're enough and we don't need to try anymore. So again, hope that helps. Some of y'all are about to unfollow me and unfriend me. That is okay. To all the Felicias, bye. You know, I am not your cup of tea. That is fine. To everybody else, I hope that you find somebody today that will inspire you to level up in whatever area of life you feel like you are struggling in. Cheers.